But Nick, thank you. Right now, Wyandotte County leaders agree something needs to be done to curb the spread of the coronavirus. They just can't agree on how to do this. At a commissioner's meeting last night, county health officials pushed the importance of putting in place a mask mandate, pointing, pointing out that the county's reaching new case number highs they haven't seen since January. We're recommending that that a mask um, wearing mandate or ordinance, just like we've seen adopted in Kansas City, Missouri, um, be be deployed for indoor public spaces. We need something very urgently. Mayor David Alvey ended the meeting without a vote. Unclear yet when the commission will revisit the issue. We'll keep you posted. The county is having some success when it comes to boosting vaccination numbers. Leaders have added incentive programs, set up mobile vaccination clinics, and even partnered with churches to try to get hundreds of people their shots. It isn't just about protecting yourselves, but protecting your neighbors, your friends, your family, and even those that you don't recognize as potentially vulnerable to COVID. More than 35% of people in Wyandotte County are now considered fully vaccinated. Johnson County, Kansas has the highest rate in the metro at more than 56%. On the Missouri side, Clay County is in the lead with 41. President Biden's out with a new message for federal workers. Get the vaccine or wear a mask and be tested every week. Gamby Sinai's Matt Evans live on the story this morning. Matt, we know this rule is going to have a big impact on Kansas City's federal workforce. Cody certainly will, and that's a large workforce. The federal government, the largest employer here in Kansas City, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, more than 28,000 full-time federal workers reside in the metro area, and all of those workers, including the hundreds and hundreds that go to work every day at the IRS building behind us here near downtown, they'll now have to say whether or not they've been vaccinated very soon. According to this new federal rule announced yesterday, the White House is requiring all federal workers to sign forms attesting that they've been vaccinated or comply with new strict rules like mandatory masking, weekly testing and required social distancing in the office. This new rule also applies to employees of federal contractors who work at government facilities and the White House plans to extend that requirement to all contract employees. Many federal employee unions, they've already begun the pushback against this, saying the government should not be mandating the vaccines. But the White House saying this is not an outright mandate, citing the options of masking and testing for those who still don't want to get a vaccine. While this new rule is only for civilian employees right now, the White House also announced yesterday that uh, President Biden directed the Pentagon and the Department of Defense to look into how and when it will begin requiring COVID-19 vaccines for military members as well. We're live in downtown this morning. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. Matt, thank you. As of right now, masks will be optional this fall for students at Olathe and Blue Valley schools. Uh, but there are groups of parents from both districts calling on their schools to do more to protect their kids. A couple of online petitions are making the rounds asking for a mask mandate for kids younger than 12 since they're too young to get a vaccine. I don't want us to miss another football season or go make up school or make up school days into the summertime. So that's the way we keep the schools open by doing the masking, doing the simple things. We reached out to both districts for responses to the petitions. A spokesperson for Olathe says that district staffers are monitoring the situation, receiving input, looking at recommendations. The Board of Education plans to discuss what it calls COVID protocols next week. Still no word back from administrators with Blue Valley Schools. We'll let you know if that changes. How is this whole mask debate with all the back and forth among districts and parents affecting kids? In 10 minutes here on First News, I'll speak with a child psychologist about the impact it's having and how you can prepare your kids for yet another year of change. The Johnson County, Kansas Health Department or Department of Health and Environment, excuse me, is going to be at some community events this weekend administering vaccines. Tonight, they'll be at Shawnee's Picnic in the Park event from 8 or 6 to 8. Tomorrow, they'll have an area set up at the Johnson County Fair and Gardner from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Again, anyone 12 and up can get a shot. Happening today, you can get a coronavirus vaccine in Peculiar. The Cass County Health Department will be set up at the Kids Country Daycare from 3 to 5. You do not need to have an appointment. Springfield health leaders have withdrawn their request to the state to set up an alternate care site for COVID patients, but they disagree with Governor Mike Parson over the reason why. Governor's office maintains the change was made in part because of a drop in cases and steady hospitalization rates. But the Springfield Green County Health Department wrote on Facebook that is not the case. 267 people are being hospitalized for COVID. Those are the latest numbers from Thursday. That's the second highest number we've seen in this pandemic. To make do, Hospitals have hired more workers and have repurposed space to build capacity all while waiting for state help. Like so many other COVID patients, a 31 year old man near the Lake of the Ozarks can only see his family through the window of his room in his, the ICU. 
him being able to see us made him fight fight more to be here. Daryl Barker spent three weeks in a hospital in Osage Beach, had no pre-existing conditions before COVID. His case is so bad, though, doctors gave him a 20% chance of survival. Barker and his wife made the decision not to get vaccinated, and they say to them there were too many unknowns. I was strongly against getting the vaccine just because we're a strong conservative family. Uh, but that little boy out there is a reason to have a vaccine. Across Missouri, COVID-19 hospitalizations have more than doubled since the start of June, and the number of ICU patients has more than tripled. 